dorkers. So glad to see ya. Would want to be ya. <laughs> I was wondering if that was what was you were going to say. <laughs> so today is a fun video because we have finally... A CGC! CGC! Bring me all the bees and that CGC. CGC! So these are Silver Age. It's a small, small little CGC haul. Hey, uh, because here's hair was just one. I know, that. right? <laughs> we haven't had one in a while. But uh, you send off Lady Dork, you send off CGC books in tears. So you send moderns off, you send values off. So the older books. And uh, so these are the older books. So we only had two out of our last batch that were, quote, older. What do you think is older? Like what 60? year? 60s? Yeah, that's older. If anybody was born in the 60s, and I apologize, but <laughs> you're not old. Uh, but before we do that, I thought let's whet the appetite a little bit with an appetizer. Would you like an appetizer? Is this a mini haul? Mini haul. So we went to the LCS yesterday. Um, I went to, uh, to pick up something I'm going to show you in here. And I was at uh, Snake Eyes Comics, Snake uh, Eyes. which is a wonderful comic shop. Our, our friend Jonathan and I sent some pictures to Lady okay. Dorkery. What, what words did I just say? What did you say? I don't know. I just made up something. Did you say CLS? Nope. What did you say? Oh. We'll go back and rewind. <laughs> and watch that. Uh, but I sent her some pictures. I said, "Do you have these? Do you want these?" And the first thing that I sent her a picture of was dun 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 dun. dun. This is my collection that I love to collect. So Darth Vader, Age of Rebellion. I love that cover. And then again is, uh, well, I don't know if this is Terry Dodson or not because I don't see the normal Terry Dodson signature. Maybe it's not. Why would you think uh, that it was Terry Dodson? Because all the other Age of Rebellions with the white covers are Terry Dodson covers. Really? They're all so the like your artists? Leia, your Luke and all that, uh, your Han Solo. Uh, so those are Terry Dawson. I don't know. Maybe that's... That could Do you be want Terry me to Dawson. open it and see? Uh, Do you want to find out? Totally up to you. <laughs> These are my readers. Totally so. up to you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. These aren't like... These aren't books that we're specking on no, or that we're investing my... in. These are just reads, right? Because this is a story of Darth Vader uh, that's never been around before. So uh, let's see if Lady Dorkery knows where to find the cover artist for Darth are Vader. Are you being serious right now? <laughs> So, well, these these modern comics are sometimes kind of tough. So, cover artist Terry and Rachel Dodson. Just knew I knew I just I know your art, Terry. I know your art, Terry. You want to you want to see something that's really exciting? To yeah, let's then? do it. Let's do it. I love ads. You guys know I love ads. Yeah. Oh. What is that? What Legion. Is that? Oh, cool. We love Legion. Uh, so that was the first picture I sent her, and uh, then I sent this picture right here. I said, I know you have Han Solo, but do you have this variant cover? Look at that beaut right there. That's a beaut. I don't got it. That's I a beaut. She it. said, uh, she, she said, see the bubbles. And I'm like, what? See the bubbles. And she put bubbles on the pictures of thumbs up. And what was the bubble? No, that wasn't the bubble. No, it was exclamation marks. Exclamation marks. Which I'm assuming is, I want that. I want that. So that's the way I interpreted that. So I got that for uh, for Lady Dorkery as well. Beautiful painted cover. Um, that's a, I can't, it starts with a P. Uh, it's an artist uh, that I can't pronounce the last name. Uh, so... Um, before we get into this, the reason I went to the LCS, I got this off of eBay. We're just going to stick with the theme we got going here, Star Wars. Um, I'm always after ah! Star Wars keys. Maybe this is one that uh, you're not familiar with, that you didn't know existed. So This is Terry and Rachel Dodson. No, it's not. That's, that's the, it's a variant cover. So oh, okay. It's, uh, it's variant that covers. right there, the first one. Gerald, Ger Gerald... Per Perel. 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 Mike McCone. Perel. It's Perel. I got you. It's a Perel cover. Uh, so, Lady Dorkery, we're excited about The Mandalorian. We're excited about Bubba Fett. Why do you do that? I was just going to see if you were reacting. The other rumor, Lady Dorkery. Okay. This is exciting. The other rumor coming to Disney+. I Plus. heard a rumor. <laughs> don't, don't finish that. Uh, coming to Disney+. Plus. Is a Lando series. Ooh. Would you watch a Lando series? Uh, I would binge watch that thing in one day. If it had Donald Glover and <gasps> the original Lando in it. What? So I thought, you know what? Before it gets crazy, before it gets out of hand, let's get the first appearance of Lando in comic book form. There it is, Lady Dorkery. Ooh. 
The first appearance of Orlando. It's my favorite. Star Wars number 43. Star Wars. And my favorite color, which is... Pink! Uh, This is... Did you buy this for me? I I bought that for us because you had said in one of our previous videos that you wanted a slabbed Star Wars wall. Did you buy this for me? I did. Okay. So uh, we're going to slab that. Uh, we're, it needs a little cleaning, so I'm actually sending that off to Erod. Two! You missed the cue. I know, because I was reading. Sorry. We're sending that off to Erod. Two, one, two! Two, one, two. And needs... I did that backwards look. Hold on. Did you? I did it too. I, was... I said two, two, one with my fingers. But it's got a, it's got a little spot right there that uh, needs a cleaning. I think that can come off. But overall, I think the spine's in really good um, shape. And... I actually really adore that cover. And, and you know what else I like? It's not just Lando's first appearance. It's Lobot's first appearance. Good we for always you. forget about Lobot. Good for you, Lobot. <laughs> So we'll get that clean. We'll get that sent off. Uh, that's that's all, that's a book that we are specking on. Uh, that you should, uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, this should be in your collection. The first appearance of Lando. Uh, so the reason, Lady Dorkery, uh, that I went to the comic book shop was uh, to get the next issue of Strange Academy number two. Uh, we're gonna do a video coming soon to show all of our Strange Academies. This is one that's hot right now because everybody's like. Harry Potter meets X-Men meets Umbrella Academy. It's just like a beautiful wow. mixture. People uh, are saying that? Y yeah, because, I mean, you literally have a school of magic uh, with character with sons and daughters of famous Marvel uh, Marvel characters. There's uh, so, so many books to catch up on. I know. We're, I'm going to let her read it. We're going to do a whole video on it. Show off. So this is uh, Strange Academy number two, and this is the variant cover of Dormammu, son. What? Uh, so this is uh, this is an that is art a really cool cover. It's an Art Adams cover, Lady Dorkery. Uh, we've got some great Art Adams covers. Uh, so I haven't read that yet. I'm looking forward to read that because it, the first issue was a fantastic read. This is that's already a hot book the by itself. First time I've ever seen this. Yeah, so uh, I'm I'm excited about that. Uh, so. I like it. We'll talk more about that so later. I get to read like I get to read this copy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll read that cool, cool, cool. Uh, for sure. I'm slabbing my Strange Academy ones, not all of them, but most of them. Uh, but I'll let you read the one that I'm not slabbing. All right. So while I was there, I was going through a box and I pulled out this comic, and uh, my lovely local comic book shop guy, he's like, um, he was a little busy, so I kind of set it to the side, and I started looking through some more long boxes. And I was digging, and there was this younger couple, and they walked over to uh, where my I had kind of stored my little comics that I was getting, like the ones that your your Star Wars and your my Strange Academy, and they're like, "Ooh, an X Men one twenty nine just laying out," and I'm like, "That's mine. I was just set it there for a second. Uh, so they were like, "Oh man!" So uh, they pulled it out, and uh, he made a great deal on it. So X Men one twenty nine, Lady Dorkery. This is an upgrade. Uh, so this you already is a, have this. this. I do. I'm going to show you in a second. This is the first appearance of Kitty Pride, of Emma Frost, mm -hmm. and of Sebastian Shaw, also known as Kevin Bacon in the MCU world. Uh, so I do. I have it in a 6.5. What's interesting, and I, I think you can see it, uh, see it right here. I'm trying to get off the glare, but uh, this is a direct edition. Mine graded is a new sand edition. The newsstand editions seem to be the earlier prints because everything's in red, and the direct editions seem to be a later print. Like the Why ink, do they do that? I don't know. It's a little bit orange. Mm -hmm. So you got red, you got orange. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm thinking this is probably an A8.5, maybe a 9.0. That one little spot up there. Um, I'm going to get it pressed, of course, but there's not a lot of color breaking spawn ticks on that, so I think I can upgrade, and he made me a great deal on that. So appreciative of that. That I get an opportunity to upgrade, um, and six point five was not Are a they great. They fighting in a in a Baskin Robbins. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So so again, that's a John Byrne cover. John Byrne, also known as Spider Man, crotch artist to uh -huh. Lady Dorkery. That's my guy. So, anyways, uh, so that I got a great deal on that. I'm looking forward to getting speaking that pressed, of, and then. Ooh, speaking of what? Well, you can see. There's no crotch shots, but there's. A crotch grab. Oh. Is that why you went, ooh? No, my ear started ringing. It was really weird. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Because no <laughs> you're like, ooh. So, all right. So, there's a little mini haul. So, that was uh, that was fun. And here's what we all came for. C, G, C. C, C. No. Here, 
you can hear the crowd roaring in the background. They're right outside our window and they're yelling, CGC, CGC, CGC. You're like the guy that cheers behind everybody else. Oh. Like you're off beat. I'm not like, like. You're off beat. All in it. Why are you, why is your. that bubble wrap. Why is your, uh, why are you off beat? I don't know. I'm just excited, Lady Dorkin. I'm getting the rubber bands off. Don't look down. Don't look down. Uh, so, two books. This isn't working. And we did these, Lady Dorkery, we did these in the uh, Guess That Grades. This is unpoppable bubble wrap. Don't pop that bubble wrap. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to look. And then, uh, I don't know these grades. Do you know what book it is? Uh, so, the first one's Fantastic Ooh. Four, number 19. Oh, this is uh, the the one? The first appearance of Ramatut, Ooh. also known as Kang the Conqueror. What is interesting about this book, Lady Dorgery, that I did not know until I had sent it off to be slab, there is actually an advertisement in this book for X-Men number one. It? Are we going to crack oh. it? An <laughs> X-Men number one. So, and it came out before X-Men number one. It's the full cover. Everybody, you can see Iceman, Beast, Jean Grey, uh, Angel, Professor X, Magneto, all of them are in here. In a huge form. Wouldn't that be the first appearance of X-Men League? But it's Dorker? an ad? It's an ad. And this is very controversial. So no, it's not controversial. I'm trying to make it controversial. <laughs> uh, but, but it's in here. So it's in here before X-Men 1 came out. Uh, so if you have a Fantastic Four 19, check it out. Look inside. Who knows? Crack that slap! Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we knew this was going to be a low grade. Lady Dorkery would not... Guess a grade on this. Uh, because I'm not you don't comfortable know the with the Silver Age comics. So I said, and you can look at my video, I said a 3.5. I paid $100 for this, so I'm not in it a lot. Uh, this would be my earliest Fantastic Four book that I have. I hope you're right. Um, I hope you get what you want. So you hope I got a 3.5 because I got a 3.0 Kang the Conqueror up there. Even if it's a 3.0, it's a match. Every time you say Kang, I hear Kong, like I want to pronounce the King A Kong. different. No, King like I just want I want like a long A. All right, here we go. All right. Using the right hand, and we got a 3.5. <gasps> that's so happy for you. I nailed it. I nailed it. And we get to course. We didn't get to do this on our guess that grade videos because I don't take them out of the what bags. What is it? Uh, but uh, that's the Aww, if you know tw we get just to twenty make people. Money selling greeting cards. Yep. 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 I love it. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that right there. Uh, that's interesting. Certificate of Authenticity? Huh. What did it say, please do not what? This says it's a pedigree. This says the Hilltop Pedigree Collection. Maybe it's in here. Uh, I don't think this is mine. <laughs> I think I need to send this back to CGC because this is a pedigree collection certificate for OMAC 1. I was getting really excited, Lady Dorkery, that I thought world? I had a pedigree collection in there. Uh, so that ain't mine right there. Year Mint, 1974. So I'm going to find out who's got that. If, you, uh, if you're if you watching and you just sent in a Nomac 1, number 1, that belonged to the Hilltop Pedigree Collection, I have your certificate. I would it's love okay. to get we'll that back sure to you. make sure it gets back to who it belongs to. All right, so this is, uh, oh man, I was like, oh, I got a pedigree comic. Oh, I love this comic. Uh, so this is one that Erod, 212, clean and pressed, high grade. Lady Dorkery, I paid just 30 bucks for this. And they sold it to me as what they believe to be a VF, which is equated to a 8.0. Yes. Uh, I sent it off to Erod. I said, Erod, see what you can do to bump this grade. Because he's the master presser. He's a bumper. He's the master presser. And he bumps all day. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a 9.0, uh, number 65, Amazing Spider Man. That was the guess that I also, in our video, guess that grades, I said this is going to be a match 9.0 to our number 65, number 68. Here you go, Lady Dorkery. I'm so nervous. You know, don't be nervous. What are we wanting? A 9.0. Anything above an 8.0, because it was sold to me as an 8.0, so if it's like okay. a 7.0 or 7.5. Super nervous. Uh, so we got a... Yes! Yay! He's the master Wait presser. Wait a minute, Lady Dorkery. First one I said is going to be 3.5. What do we get? Five. Second one I said it's going to be 9.0. <laughs> what do we get? 9.0. Somebody's getting really good at their grading for Silver Age comics right there. So. Good job, E-Rod. Hey, he bumped that two grade 
point. So a 9.0 Silver Age Spider-Man. This is a Kingpin appearance. Yep. And the Kate Clay Tablet Saga begins. Oh, interesting. But more importantly, it is a 9.0. What year did that come out, Lady Dorkery? This came out in 69. 1969. 1969. So that is a 51-year-old comic. Why that is did near they say 69 mint. on the label and 68 on the comic? Huh. I don't know. Maybe the it was... The comic says January 68, and this label says 69. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to have to find that out. No, it says... That's the number oh. of the comic issue. <laughs> Why did you let me do that? You're uh, supposed to know more than I do. That's the issue number, not the year number, I guys. I know. Rookie. That's okay. All good. Uh, so there we go. I'm very happy. Just two books. I know what you're thinking. Andy, we want Here's more TGC. So want. do I. I want to know what they're protesting. Yeah. And they've cut off half the words, so I can't know. The signs say, don't. Don't. Won't. Stand. No. Stand. Be must. Behind students. Aunt. Ites. Like there's no complete Something's words. going on with the students. <laughs> the students are protesting. What a, uh, what a relevant comic for this day and time. Students protesting. Students protesting. Uh, but hey, I love that book. A 9.0 near mint, amazing Spider Man. You. Thank you for never making me feel stupid when I think that the hey, issue number is that's, the year. That's what I'm here for. And okay. what did we learn today, Lady Dork? We learned that CGC. That the issue number is not the year. We, we learned that. Okay. And that also that CGC sometimes sends pedigree certificates to the wrong CGC. person. CGC. What did you do? We'll find that side. We'll get it to the right person somehow, some way. We found out we'll that find that person. Erod still holds the title for Master Presser. Master Presser. And if you want Erod two one two, reach out to him I on Instagram. Be sitting on a piano and singing Master Presser. Also, uh, mention the Dorkeries to him, and that gets you ten percent off of your entire pressing order. It does. That's pretty good. It does. Uh, we got another CGC unboxing coming soon. Julie. Actually, it got shipped today. <laughs> oh, so modern age, uh, hopefully in the next couple days. So next week, uh, we'll have that up. And in the meantime, go, go dark yourself. yourself. That was good. Thanks. Beautiful. Pew pew.